The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and boy, I've got a power pack show today. It's just been flowing. You know, March really has been get it done. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And we're going to focus today on the show on the equinox, the March 20th, 2017 spring equinox. You know, equinox comes twice a year, spring and fall. It's kind of a seasonal change thing if you look at it with weather. Um, but we're going to look into it different. We're want, I want to show you, because of how all the energy is coming in and aligning right now, this is a, an amazing time to really look at the bigger picture and clearly see where you want to go. We've been talking about this. It's been a big upheaval of purging, changing, letting go, feeling loss, feeling sadness. Then. On the other side of it, feeling the joy, feeling the relief, feeling all of it at the same time for some of us. Not everybody's feeling everything at the same time. I am going to share what I'm learning as we go through this. I'm sharing what I'm finding works for me personally and what I'm finding works with uh, my clients or other people reporting back to me. And it may not fit everybody. I'm not trying to, I'm not, you know, that's not realistic. Okay. I'm putting out what I know. And if that works for you or resonates for you, then you go with it. If not, then find what does. I'm all about that. I'm also all about you finding your empowerment, knowing that you can do quite a bit because that's the type of energy and frequency of life we're moving into a more empowered life we can choose a more empowered life. Now, how is, what is that? I mean, we feel like we're being yanked and pulled everywhere. This isn't a bad thing that's happening, really. I mean, we do feel it all over the place. We're seeing the good, the bad, the ugly, you name it. We're seeing all the good, the good stuff that, you know, it's like crazy. Some people are feeling discouraged by that. I understand that. And I'm reaching out to you to not give up now. We are so close. Also, you know, this is the year of it moving into something brand new. So it will feel very foreign, very different. You guys might still be purging quite a bit of things out there. So this equinox is an opportunity to find some clarity by looking at the bigger picture of what's going on. And I love that Archangel Raphael came through with the guidance for this week. I always work with angels because they are such a comfort and honestly, best friends for me. I've worked with them my whole life. Now that doesn't mean they just come and do everything for me. They've actually, it's been quite the opposite. They want me to do my own work. They want me to do, you know, be proactive in my own growth. I share that because that seems to be a common link for, for many of us right now, moving into this higher frequency we're learning that we have the ability to do a lot more for ourselves than we ever knew we could. That's big right now. There's still people not aware of it. They don't realize, oh, I didn't know I could, I could do that. I didn't know I was capable of that. I didn't know I was strong enough. Okay. You might be working with some health things. I mean, emotions, I, this, these first couple of months of 2017, really, I mean, come on guys, we've been prepping, we've been talking about it. Now we're here at the equinox and the equinox is kind of after those eclipses we had in February and that full moon we had, 
and we still have that energy that's influencing us a bit. And now we're moving, we are moving into that new cycle. I mean, we're in, it's like this is, it's here, it's time. And for some people, it's, you know, I'll be, let's be honest, it's probably scaring some of you to death. I mean, it, it kind of feels a little scary. And then you just stop and you go, wait, I just don't want to be scared anymore. And then some of you may feel still stuck in that. So I, I want to share that all these feelings, all these feelings of, I got this. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. It's okay. It's okay. It really is. Um, I'm here to show you that, you know, I go through these things too. Okay. A lot of what I'm sharing, I'm learning, experiencing, I've been there, done that, or, you know, it's, it's something that's coming through new because that's what I've been asking for. I've been asking for what we need now, not what we needed in the past. Cause that's not where we are anymore. My focus was my work now, and I knew it was changing gears and it is, is to put out what we need now and deliver that to you. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect at everything. I'm not saying it's going to be for everyone. We're all in different places with that. But if this is resonating for you, then check it out for yourself. See what it'll do for you. That's what I'm passionate about. And the more that I, you know, the word surrender kind of freaks people out. Sometimes they feel like they're giving up their power. I want to just say it's actually the opposite. You're learning to flow with how things are going and you're trusting the universe is what I mean when I say, you know, I'm just kind of going with where it wants to take me and where it wants me to go with my work, what I share with you, what the classes are going to be. And we're working on those guys. I've been teasing you about that, but boy, they're, they're coming. I promise you been very busy for the last several weeks on one. And it's, you know, I was hoping to have it out this week, but I think probably this coming up week, I should be able to get it out there where we can start it up because we need it right now. I also don't want it to be like, I'm just throwing something out there. I take everything that I do very, very seriously. And I'm not about this impatient timeline. I, I don't, I've never felt like that. I want it to be when it's supposed to come out. So I've had to calm down my excitement because I feel like, wow, okay, I'm seeing the clarity. At the same time, I have to kind of tone it down a little bit so I know that I can make it all the way to the finish line because it takes, it takes a lot. It really does. It takes a lot. We've been doing quite a bit and we're starting to really see some response. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you. And I want to say thank you to those that do send the feedback through. Um, we are, I'm, I'm hearing from you and that really helps me help you because when I'm putting it out there and I'm connecting for the guidance to share with you, help me with that. What is it that you need? Let me know what it is. So, with that, that's what we're doing today. Now, equinox, okay? Let me give you the analogy of what an equinox really is. Equal, equinox, equal. Think about the word equal in balance. In weather or, you know, the seasons, the equinox twice a year is the two times in the year that you have the same many hours of daylight as you do evening or nighttime. So you have light and dark in a balance. There's just the same amount of both. Okay. So with that, how are we going to apply that spiritually? Okay. Now here's what's going on for some of you. And I really want you to understand with this energy that's coming out with this bigger picture, we had that Venus retrograde, which helps us with the relationships, but it's actually going to kind of bring you back and see clearly and have more awareness. Um, maybe you never saw before how you were relating to someone and how that's coming back and you never understood that. And we're, we're learning that the Virgo moon had an assertiveness to it. And you might have found, you may have found that you were being more assertive, more outspoken, maybe a little bit more impatient. And it felt like you were going from here to here to here to here. Here's what happens if you look at this from the bigger picture spiritually. We are being shown all of it. You're, you're seeing all of it. You're seeing 
this extreme to that extreme, in the middle, in between, up and down. And that's exactly right. You're seeing it that way because if you see it from the bigger picture and you see the extremes of everything, you'll be able to find where your balance is in that or what you really do want to take with you forward and cycle. That's very, very important right now. With this equinox coming, and it's coming on the 20th, which is Monday here, I wanted to do that show today because this gives you a couple of days before for you to kind of meditate with your intentions on how you want to move forward in your new beginning. Because now we're rocking and rolling in it. Now we're going. Okay, that's what we're talking about in this show. We're talking about how can we find that balance? How can we see that bigger picture? How can this equinox help us? And I'm going to go through quite a bit that Raphael guided me to share with you today. And we're going to go from there. So with that in mind, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to power on with guidance from Archangel Raphael for the equinox that's coming up May, uh, March 20th, 2017. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. You might be watching on our live video stream. You can check that out at jenroyster.com or the YouTube channel. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. We are back and welcome to the show if you're just tuning in. Our topic today is guidance with Archangel Raphael and the new equinox that's coming on March 20th, which is just in a few days on Monday. Now, how can this equinox help us? Okay, now, because of the energy alignment, we've been talking about it pretty much every week at different points and on different topics. But this one in particular is about the balance Okay, and I said that, and that's why Raphael is here. Raphael is a wonderful angel for healing. He's the physician, you know, of heaven. That's how he's known, but he's the healing, you know, and you're working to heal. It's not just physical, could be relationships, could be emotions, could be mental, could be your beliefs. You're working to just figure out what is your belief on something. You know, and you don't have to take my word for any of it or anything you hear out there. You want to decide for yourself. Now, it's a unique time for this because we want to embrace this new cycle because we've been through it. OK, here we are in the new cycle. We want to embrace it heart, whole, wholeheartedly. Sorry about that. I got stuck on that word. And, you know, you don't want to get overwhelmed in the fear. And we talk about that a lot. You'll, you'll see it out there everywhere. That's everybody on an individual basis is working out where they want to be on this. Also, you're working out where you want to be for you. And you're starting to feel different about things. If this isn't resonating for you, that's okay. I'm speaking to those that this is, okay? Now, what we want to work on, and I got lots of notes here I've been working on with, with so much of this, you're going to feel this polarity, this duality. Equinoxes can do that. The day, the light, there's the same dark as there's same. And it feels like we got just as much dark as we have light. Where's that analogy? We have just as much. It just feels like there's so much out there that's still dark or negative or scary. And then we have all this light and you feel like that right now. I get that. I get that. Look at the bigger picture. We have a big plane going over if you hear that rumbling. Um, look at that bigger picture, okay? So how can we do this? You want to choose, if it's, if it's um, it used to be like the imbalance was like almost all the dark and hardly any light, and now you're finding that you're 50-50, that's a good 
midway point because now you're at the beginning of going over the hill down the other side to more of the light that you want. If you were to look at this with intention like, okay, I'm at that midpoint here. Now I'm ready. I'm almost up to the top and I'm going to get to the other side and I'm going to be able to see. It is coming. I don't want you to give up now. I'm saying that because I am receiving so much encouragement. Don't give up yet. Don't, don't, don't. The doubts, the second guessing, that's that darker side I'm talking about. That's having you review that relationship you have with that, that retrograde from Venus, remember? And then this assertiveness, like I'm so ready to start something new. Now, that's what we got going on. Now, if you were working with health problems or, or any of them, I mean, I know a lot of people are feeling some health symptoms. I want to remind you, energetically, metaphysically viewpoint, energetically, your body is responding to the energy it lives in. Okay, it's responding to the energy to tell you what's going on. So if some of you are having lots of digestive upset, that's a clue that it could be you're, you're trying to digest all this. You feel a little overwhelmed and you're trying to keep up. Don't worry, you will. But when you acknowledge the energy of what's being processed by your physical body, it can work wonders. Now that's not to say don't go take care of yourself if you need to seek attention for that. I'm not saying don't. Those are choices you make. You know, you take care of what you need to take care of because this is a self-love time. We need to do that. We need to come back here right now and make sure we're okay. But the second guessing, some of us are still becoming aware that and this, this is, this I've seen go all over the place in a gambit. It's been gone. It's gone from excited and happy to angry because it didn't happen fast enough. Or they're like, I've been trying all this time and the angels don't talk to me and they don't help me or, you know, that kind of thing. I understand that frustration. We also are learning that it's not about waiting for it to be done for us. I, I have to be honest with you. It might upset some people. It's not about being done for us. We are being guided on how to take our life and make some initiative steps for ourselves. As soon as you do that little bit, it will start to respond very quickly. I know that with me personally, you know, I'll, I'll feel okay. I feel like I should do this or that. And you're, then you're not sure. And you're going back and forth. That's the duality of the equinox feeling do this, no, do that. It's okay. Don't let that upset you or frustrate you. It will at first, I'm sure, because of those energies that are around because you just want to do something about it. We just want to get it off our plate. You can't rush a spiritual growth. There's a lesson and a growth and an ascension in everything energetically. Our soul is going to make sure that's what we're focusing on, not necessarily what it is that is in the physical reality at the moment because we're creating that physical reality by what we're choosing energetically, what our beliefs are, what our intentions are, and then our bodies, then our reality, our lifestyle responds to that. So it's not like, okay, I'll feel that way after it comes in. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way from what I've experienced and what I've seen and what I've studied. It doesn't work that way. Now, one of the things that Raphael really came in on, and these are some things that he suggests for the weekend, for the next few days, being ready for this big rollout of the new everything. And it's not like you're gonna wake up on Monday and it's an entire different world. These are things you've gotta choose if you really want that new path. Expect that the new path will be unknown with every step, it's going to feel unknown because you, we've never been there. Mine is like that every day. Every day it feels different and yours is going to feel the same way. But we need to slow down and you need to change up your, what, how did he say it? Change up the routine was the biggest thing he said first. He said, this is a great time to change up the routine completely because you want to be out of the rut because you'll be able to see and awaken to new discoveries that you may have missed. 
If you're on autopilot, like every morning you get up, you do this, you make your coffee or you go do this and you do that. And it's just a routine. Or you always do this at this time, or you do this or this or this. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the routine. However, in the next few days, it would do you a good service to mix it up a bit. Even if it's just take a different route to work or change up what you have every day in the morning first thing or or take that time to meditate he was saying slow down and change it up i'm telling you he told me that i'm planning to do that it's already done that for me because i said okay i can do that so the calendar started to do it for me and i went oh well there it is okay and just go with it and for those that have trouble just going with the flow, we will be practicing lots of flexibility with this one. Lots of flexibility. And to the point where you might even have a headache or tight shoulders because you'll feel that resistance in the body. That's the body telling you you're resisting where the universe is trying to show you some things and open some doors for you. Anything that you might be experiencing that's a challenge, I want to remind you that that is a, um, what do I want to say? That's, that's where the lesson is. That's what it's trying to teach you. Okay. It's trying to open a door for you. It wants to show you the balance. If something is flaring, what is it trying to teach you? I mean, when I, it happens to me too, you know, I'll get random crazy stuff. Like, I mean, I know when certain things are, you know, oh, I got to stop and pay attention to that. And the more I do that, the quicker, the more resolved it is. And I've really had to learn how to practice that. I'm not, I'm not saying it's natural at the beginning because you're so used to feeling like you have to protect yourself. When we go into, you know, I, I want to shield up. I want to protect the world's going to attack me. We're actually practicing learning how to not feel like we're going to be attacked by something. I know. Don't go to the news for a minute right now. I know your mind went there. Some of you stay with me for a minute. We're talking energetically to change the future, to change the reality that you live in, to change your experiences because the universe responds to what we're putting out there. So we don't, we're practicing. Don't immediately think the worst. That's the quickest way to say what I'm trying to say here. Don't. So how do you practice that? You're going to have to slow down and make an intention when your mind tries to go there on something and you're going, Oh wait, no, that's gonna, you know, or you feel a backache or you feel hip and low back. How many of you feeling that just for random reasons? Like why all of a sudden do I have that? You know, people are having all kinds of symptoms that are your body responding to the energy to show you the resistance or where you need the healing depending on where it, where it's happening in the body, we use our chakra system for that. Chakra systems are shifting as well. They're kind of accelerating and upgrading themselves as well. I'm busy working on stuff for that too, guys, because I want to give you what's going to really benefit you. You know, there's plenty of stuff out there that's been out there and that stuff is great. It's great. I'm not saying it's not, but I know there's brand new things that we have to readdress or tweak or upgrade. So if you think of it like a computer program, I mean, we had programs that worked great five years ago, but now you just got to upgrade them or it doesn't work right. That's really what's happening for so many levels on what we have going on. This bigger picture to show you all these extremes is going to help you choose clearly what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. And, and that's important right now as we move into a brand new cycle. I mean, what is it that you don't want anymore, right? What is it that you don't want? And if you were to think, wait, okay, I see all this happening with the drama, or I see, I don't want to keep having all these health issues. What can I do? How can I help me? When you're working and asking for the guidance with Raphael, the universe, in your meditations to receive intuitive hits, your own gut intuition telling you, Oh, okay. I need to do something different about that. This is going to be a great eye opening weekend. If you have that intention to sit down with that, 
Uh, you might be one that just goes for a walk in nature and you know, you're always too busy and you always want to go take five minutes to do something that you really want to do. But do you really do it because something else gets in the way? This is going to be the weekend to make sure something does not get in the way. Okay. Put your intentions and your efforts into what you really want. You don't have to work hard. If you guys are out there focusing on business overload, like when I work with business, but I have to make sure I'm taking my breaks too. So, and on that, I'm getting, take a break. <laughs> Boy, it goes fast. So we're going to take the short break. We're going to keep going because I have so much I want to share here. So I am talking about the guidance that Raphael's bringing through for the Equinox on March 20. Stay with us. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching the Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. We are back. Welcome to the show. If you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Jen. We're talking about guidance from Archangel Raphael for the Equinox coming up on March 20th. That's Monday. So here we go. Now his tip was slow down this weekend and change it up. Also watch out for all the distractions. That was something else he said. And I'm going to just put it out there the way it was to me. Sometimes when we are so used to, can you just tell me what to do? That's what is changing. I'm going to be really honest with you. That's what I consistently receive from the angels as guidance that has to change going forward. It's not like, oh, here, it's just going to drop in. You know, they're not going to just pick it up for us and do it. We have to show our initiative. They keep reiterating that to me personally as well. And I've been having to practice and change that. And I'll be sharing that in those classes I've got that I'm working on because it's detailed and, and I want to put it out there for the people that really want to do that. Okay. So <clears throat> that's coming. If you're on the newsletter, you'll get an update on that and I'll post it out there. So that's coming soon. Now, however, now the tip was, you know, get away from the distractions. Well, what are the distractions? Is it the news for you? Is it your phone? Is it? you know, all this stuff we got going on out there with social media, whatever. Where's your distraction at? Is it getting caught up in the neighbor's drama or your family drama? Is it worrying about what somebody else is doing? And watch out for that. I know, I know that that one can be a tricky one because empathic, you know, people, we have compassion and we're here to help and we want to fix everything, right? That's natural. This empath, part of you has to revert inside right now and make sure insides being tended to. And he is saying that very strongly to me and he comes through very calm and gentle. It's very different from when Michael comes through, Michael comes through, whoa, you know, and you're ready to run five miles or something. Raphael comes through, he's very direct and to the point and he just puts it out there. Matter of fact, but he's very gentle about it. He has a very calm nature. And he's all about the truth of what you need for healing. So what is it that you're avoiding or denying within yourself? None of these answers are going to be out there about somebody else's journey and about what's going on out there. You have to make sure inside is being tended to. You're responsible for that is what he's telling me. And he says, we're here to guide you and support you enthusiastically when you choose that. Now that's what I'm receiving. If that doesn't work for you, go find what does. Okay. But that's what I'm receiving. So I, I heard this, you know, a couple months back, really strong. I went, all right, let me see what I can do, you know, to change that within myself. And I, 
I have to say, I, ha I can validate personally that, yeah, it really shifted it quickly, quicker than I've ever seen in the past. You know, and you know, you come around and so now I'm thinking, I'm not going to wait. Let me just do this. And, and it gets easier as you do that. But what are your distractions? They could be different. Some people it's the, you know, your phone, it's the computer, it's a game, it's a television. What is your distraction? What is your distraction? Not what the general, what they tell you is the distraction for everybody. What is your distraction? That's what you want to find out because you want to get that out of the way. You want to clear that out. Another thing that he pointed out that he said people are frustrated with and he wanted me to address is why do we keep being told to be quiet, meditate with intention, blah, 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 blah. Yes, that, that message is consistent. And that right there is a clue that it is coming from divine uh, because the message doesn't change and because that is where you're going to find your answers inside. If you're used to, it's, it's so hard, I, I don't know how to do that. Well, exactly, that's the point. We've got to practice that. So you might need to walk or, you know, do something in the garden and allow, allow the mind to flow. That gives your conscious mind something to be preoccupied with, and it helps when you're brand new at this. Something that, um, I mean, you could do that with housekeeping. You could do that with a gardening. You could do that with just about any task. And if you like to write or journal, now's a great time to do it. Throw it out there. You can also ask those intentions to come to you in your dreams. You can work with detoxing because the more your frequency is shifting on your physical body, it'll be easier for you to discern the messages that are coming through. Because if you have a, a fairly clean diet, you'll really be able to tell if you've been living pretty clean with that. And then all of a sudden you go, well, I guess I could have that, you know, and I'm not going to say one thing or the other, cause I'm not about that. I'm about what is right for you. Say you had to get away from something that was toxic for you. And then you go, Oh, but I really want to have some of that. I could probably have a little bit and you do it. And then you're really paying for it, you know, and you're just miserable and you can feel like you just dropped like a lead brick. There you go. See how clear, that antenna is now. And that's not a negative. That's actually being very clear to you. Yes, this, no, not that. And that's a gift. If you looked at that for what it is. All right. Now for the ones that are out there feeling the emotions and you're feeling the tugs and you're, you're upset about what everybody else is, you know, like family members and you feel like they're not doing what they need to do. You're going to need to work on detaching and allowing people to choose for themselves. I'm not saying that's going to be easy because some of it, you're not going to feel they're choosing what you feel like they should choose. Exactly. Do you want them to tell you what to choose? Reverse it in situations like that. So you can see it for what it is like, would I want that done to me? Would I want somebody to be doing that to me? You know, things like that will help you to see clearly. Now, um, some of the other things that he had come up was, um, raising the frequency in many different ways. We talked about the physical. So if you're feeling the nudge to clean it up or your body's trying to tell you or get your attention with something, this is a great weekend to sit with it and walk through it, not avoid those things. If you need that alone time to do it, do it. If you need to change up your routine, like maybe, maybe you had something that you do every weekend that's with a bunch of other people. Maybe for you, it might be better to maybe skip this one. I'm making suggestions, not telling you what to do because you have to choose it. Um, I had, I had so many things coming in. I'm sorry. I'm reading because I have so much of it that it, I'm just overloaded in my brain because he had so much he wanted to share on this one. You are the change that you're looking for. You are the one that's going to make that movement forward. That's going to change the whole world that you're waiting to change. It's not, you can't wait for it to change. It's not like that. It's not going to work that way. You have to take a step forward. For some people, they feel like that's just crazy. It's crazy. Well, we are wrestling with that heart brain choice. 
Remember I was talking about that where we have the brain, you know, is where we were making all those mental choices and we're really learning and practicing how to make choices from our heart. And with our heart open, we feel everything a whole lot more. You're going to feel the good, the bad. You're going to feel all parts of it, but that is the bigger picture. Don't be afraid of the bigger picture. If we are at this point in our ascension growth as a really as a group, as the whole world, the earth, everything. And now we, you know, oh, well, that's just too much. Well, I mean, you can choose that. And but I don't recommend it. I don't think you're going to be very happy with that either. I don't personally, but I'm sharing what I know that I'm choosing. And it's to, to just walk through the tough side of it, too. If one, when something comes up, whether it's health, emotional, a relationship, you know, you're, you're dealing with something, go there this weekend. Just sit with it and ask for that intention to heal it. I want to heal this. Show me how. What, what can I do to participate in my healing and my growth? That's the key right there. And for, I'm getting the biggest chill. I'm going to do that like all weekend for myself too. But this is a big deal, okay? This is one of the biggest things that Raphael said. Sit down and take that sincere intention that you want to be a participant. If you're afraid to participate, that's where you want to call in Michael to take the fear away. So you might need to do that one first. Then say, okay, Michael's going to help me with that fear thing. So when it pops up and affects me or I feel it, I want to walk through it. It might be something fantastic and joyous. It's not always a bad thing. It's not always a scary thing or a painful thing. But this is how we'll be able to choose and see the bigger picture because you'll feel this one. Yes, I want to keep that. I want to keep going with that. You might feel... Oh, wait, no, not that. Yes, that. That's what I'm talking about. We have to take another break. Wow. I'm just like, wow. I'm kind of excited about the weekend, actually. So we are going to take the break. When we come back, we're going to wrap it up. And I have an email that I do want to share that was a great question for all of us. So you are listening to the Jen Royster Show. You might be watching on our video live stream. You can check that out at jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. When we come back, we will keep powering on with the Equinox. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Okay, guys, we are back for that last segment, and I'm going to go quick because I want to get as much as I can in this. Now, to wrap it up, the biggest tip that Raphael has given us for this equinox coming in to prepare for it, to get the most out of it. Remember, the equinox is this big gateway. This whole thing has been this ramping up to the front door to just walk through into this new beginning, this new everything, okay? So, he's saying... Think of a computer that everything's all wacky and you got to reboot it. And then after you reboot it, a lot it settles down and it works again. That's why he's suggesting, and that's what you're going to do with your own energy. You're going to reboot it to reset it so it's recalibrated. Because if you go down the routine, the routine, the auto, the autopilot, autopilot, and then all of a sudden, why am I stuck? How come it never changes? You need to reboot. You need to reboot. So change up your routine. Completely throw a wrench in it if you have to. Just mix it all up and get out of the rut. 
make yourself get out of the rut somehow do something different whatever it might be start with something small and then keep going from there it will reboot your energies you will it will really help you tremendously to see clearly and see that bigger picture because this is a big one okay big opportunity this weekend i want to give you everything you need so you can go into this with your eyes open and you can see what you want to choose to keep moving forward and what you want to leave alone and let it go all right so i know some of you are still doing that so let's go to this email before we run out of time here and this email comes from megan in las vegas and she says hi dr jen thank you so much for all of your tough love <laughs> well thank you megan i do i do come on like that sometimes tough love and compassionate encouragement in adjusting in the new year i'm grateful that archangel Raphael is coming in with a message of healing i would love to know what advice he has for me and my health Okay, she's going into that. In the past six months, I've tried new ways of self-healing only to find myself hitting rock bottom and actually even worse off than I was before. Okay. I feel overwhelmed at all of the nutritional and medical information that's out there and knowing which one is best for me to follow. I know that every... Don't do that to me. Come on. Okay, computer. Do I need to reboot you already? Hold on, there we go. I know that everything is energy. Please help me understand what is the core issues, issue, issues, is to bring into my body's physical, emotional, spiritual, back into harmony. How can I do that? So I can take control and revitalize my health. Okay, I, that was weird. I guess I answered it before we got to it. This weekend, Megan, the reboot, the reboot, the reboot for you, because yes, she has a plethora of information coming in from every angle. And, and I want to remind everybody that might be going through something very similar. What works for one may or may not work in your situation, depending on what your unique situation is. We explore all options and she's been very, you know, proactive in exploring everything out there. However, the biggest thing, and I'm, I asked Raphael, and I'm getting a big chill, so I know this is, this is Megan's answer here. Let me take a deep breath, because this one feels big for me to deliver a little bit. He's saying, you've worked very hard to change, to take your life in a completely different direction, to be the better person that you've always wanted to be, to believe in yourself, the whole thing. He is saying the thing that is the biggest energy behind the health is believing in that fear of how amazing you are. I know that sounds kind of weird, but stay with me. It's a fear of how big it can be because I get the feeling that you've already been in a pretty big place on whatever level that might be, but it feels emotional and that just you just don't want to go through ah so it's almost like there's a hiding but you need to get out there so if that makes sense and for those that might be resonating with this hear me out Raphael's here to share what will help you in healing so our bodies will show different medical health issues you absolutely go and you tend to those. They've already manifested from things from yesterday's thoughts. Okay, so don't hesitate to tend to what you need to tend to. Whatever works, whatever happens, you may have to pull back and go, whoa, clean this out a little bit. Let me start this and reboot. A reboot's really going to help you have a clear picture. And then you're going to reset the whole experience of how your antenna is receiving and then you walk into a new beginning with that intention that i'm not taking all these issues with me that would be a wonderful thing for you to meditate upon with intention is uh, if this were me and i was having something like that going on where i'm having all these things going on physically and i'm oh come on i'm trying to get off this wonderful th i'm trying to do this and it's something that always gets in the way i would just this is what I would do, and I have done this in the past, I would say, you know what? No more, no more interference, no more distractions. And I would put that intention out there and I would ask for that guidance and that help to keep you on task. 
keep you in that focus, which is something we talked about last week with the goddess that came in with Diana, I believe. But oh, yeah, Michael's going to keep you from being afraid of how big your new life can be. That's it. <laughs> That, that one's going to help you. Raphael is going to take you and pull you back and go, all right, reboot, reset, get your information. Don't be afraid of the information. Gather the information and then sort it out for what it needs to be. Gather the information. Get ready for what the information wants to bring you. And then you know what? It's your choice. Don't forget it's your choice what you choose to do. I've done that. I've done, I say, let me try this. If it doesn't work, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to go over here. And as you do that, you were going to find the freedom because here is the thing that I want everybody. And thank you, Megan, for that message, because I think that was powerful for everybody. Here's what I want to leave you with that Raphael gave me uh, in addition to, I feel like my brain keeps resetting itself and bear with me guys. There's just so much information and it's a timeline here with radio. Your natural inside, the way you want to resonate, if you were to go, my intention is to go back to my natural place of resonating. You know what that would be? Joy, happiness, knowing that everything is exactly the way it needs to be and you are experiencing this life in a journey. Take the challenges, learn what you need to learn, and then leave the rest behind as you walk through the challenge. We're walking through these things now. You're gathering your information. You're going to reboot. You're going to set that intention. You're going to have that meditation and know that Raphael wants to guide you. The bigger picture is looking at the whole thing. Okay. Look at the whole thing. And there you go. So I have said quite a bit. I'm glad it's an archive so you can go back and re-listen to sections. Um, I want to say thank you so much for the feedback you guys give me, uh, for listening to the show, for watching the show on the video stream. We put a lot of effort to get this information out there. And, you know, thank you for the support. I'm going now to work hard on those classes I was telling you about because I want to get them out there. We, it's time. It's time for us to have some new upgrades to how we do everything. And that's what I'm working on with my intention. So with that, I want to wish everyone a fantastic weekend as you reboot, meditate, reset your intentions to really walk through this equinox on Monday and let your new beginning shine. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Dr. Jen. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show or watching our video live stream. We will see you next time. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.